so uh, this project was done at EPFL as part of the uh, as part of DLab. Um, so I would have to say it's spearheaded by Tiziana Picardi, uh, who did a lot of the early brainstorming and hard work, which I am carrying on. Uh, and I'd like to also thank Martin Gerlach and Robert West for helping with this project. So for some context, uh, what, why is this important? Why is it important to know what fraction of searches are answered by Wikipedia? Uh, this question has been important, uh, I would say for as long as Google and Wikipedia have been around. They share quite a unique symbiotic relationship uh, in the sense that Google benefits from Wikipedia. Uh, for example, if there's a page, Wikipedia page that comes through in Google search results, uh, it ends up having a higher click-through rate, so it benefits Google not to mention, for example, them using Wikipedia's data for knowledge boxes and also for training large language models. Um, this is, of course, all within uh, fair use uh, based on Wikipedia's license. But given that there is a dynamic of the way this affects uh, the number of follow, you know, page views, uh, this is something important to investigate. Also, as we're moving into a, a time and regime when uh, through LLMs, kind of changing the structure of the internet to be more question answering instead of indexing. It leads to more importance for us to be able to measure exactly what the relationship between these two are. Not to mention the fact that they're two of the most uh, important uh, web pages on the internet. So uh, there's a lot of rich work already being done in this space, uh, exploring um, you know, whether, it comes, whether it's sociological theory of the relationship between those and like structural theory, or the political economy of such a situation. Uh, there's a lot of rich questions that can be answered. And of course, you can go down into temporal patterns. Did a knowledge box actually have an impact on search results? Uh, which kind of topics are Wikipedia more of an authority on the internet? All crucial questions to learn about Wikipedia, which we can't quite answer yet without having such a data set. So what we are trying to do over here is see if we can link Google Trends to Wikipedia page views. These are both uh, public sources um, in the context of the fact that it's normalized. Uh, the problem though is that the full search volume is private. For example, if you have a peak over here, everything is normalized from zero to 100. This means that we're not quite able to get this data set that we want, which transparently tells us how often does an actual click go through. Not to mention uh, geo uh, geographical constraints of having to be in the same country, Wikipedia being used all over the world. There's a lot of uh, unknowns uh, in this setup. And what we're going to try and do is demystify this. So how do we do it? Uh, it's through another tool built by DLab uh, called GTAB, which basically converts uh, you know, this relative time series I was showing you before in an absolute scale and allows us to actually make such um, uh, such queries and able to actually understand what the volume is. Uh, this is actually great work, which can be helpful for all kinds of data science projects. So I would recommend checking it out. Um, so as far as to how we're going to be using GTAB, uh, which allows us to get you know some uh, version of this uh, absolute values away from Google Trends, uh, can be better understood through this model. Uh, this is not a machine learning model, as one of our reviewers uh, was key to question us on. No, this model basically tries to see if whether it is possible with just the public data we have to identify over here in this plot, what is a beta. So we can see over here, quickly walk you through it. Um, Q is basically the total search uh, search for, for a topic I at a time T. Alpha is, the, is Google's market share. The rest is O is the other uh, search engines. And what we can identify is the red ones. Uh, C over here is the final click stream volume, volume where it says, what is the volume coming from search engines? Uh, and T is the uh, Google Trends related value, which we get from Cheetah. And uh, over there, Cheetah is the normalization factor. Um, and gamma is, a, so beta is a search results that actually come through from Google. Uh, gamma is the other ones. And delta is going going from, because we also don't, we don't have web request logs, logs we just have clickstream values that say from, comes from a search engine. So um, that values finally just estimate what values come, uh, what values that clickstream tell us are actually represented from Wikipedia. So I'm happy to walk over this a little bit more in the question answering bit because I'd imagine uh, that it's clarifying. But basically, assuming that we hold either T or I constant, it's now possible for us to basically say 
that beta is a ratio, a proportion of um, the clickstream values divided by the Google transnormalized value holding uh, IRT constant, we're now able to measure. Um, some caveats, we need a lang single, we need language spoken in a single country as um, Google Trends gives us a single country, um, but Wikipedia doesn't. Um, I mean, there are now different data sets allow us to, but traditionally it doesn't. Um, so we have to stick to one of these four languages where we have a somewhat higher percentage of people making the queries in that language coming from that country. Uh, and what we do is for each language, we conduct a separate analysis where we consider the top 100K articles and we sample in such a way where we get a total of 10,000 articles. And for these 10,000 articles, we can basically calculate the beta values using these clickstream and the trends. Now, again, note that we can only compare between topics for a fixed time or compare for one topic across time. Um, and for example, this allows us to do things as you can see over here, where we can see over time, how has interest changed um, uh, for, uh, how has the Google to Wikipedia click-through changed for a particular topic? Or so we can see if there's uh, external events such as like knowledge boxes, or we can also average this out just to get one value and use it to compare between uh, other topics, um, other titles. So over here is an example for Italian Wikipedia where we see a much higher click-through rate for certain, uh, for example, sports uh, so athletes or um, athletes for celebrities. Uh, for medical, we see a higher range. And then for websites like Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, people tend to actually click to go to the website itself rather than go to the Wikipedia page. And over here, you see how for different topics, this value of Google to Wikipedia, this ratio is also quite different. 